Hi everyone, I'm Kyla and welcome to my channel. So basically today we're going to be talking about the LV cosmetic pouch in the PM size. So this is the one that I have right here. It's the smaller size that they have. I got this for about, I've had this for about three or four years now. So if you're interested in, you know, finding out about the wear and tear, whether you should use this as a makeup pouch or not because makeup pouches tend to get really, really dirty really fast, then keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so... This is just how it looks like. Uh, it's just a basic pouch. There's nothing much to it really. So like I mentioned, I use this as a makeup pouch, which is why I actually got an insert for this, which is the absolute most important thing if you are intending on using this as a makeup pouch because the interior of this is really, really light. As you can see, uh, it's um, the light brown color. Oh, just have like a bunch of stuff um, below. So it comes with a little inner slip here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, yeah, but there's an inner slip here and there's one major compartment and just your zipper closure. So as you can see, the side here, there's just probably like a bit of a patina on the leather, which is completely normal. But the sides, there are no wear and tear whatsoever. Maybe because I don't bring this out as much, the most, if I were to bring it out, I would just leave it in the car. Um, my bags are all really tiny so they don't fit this um, but if you're someone who likes to carry a makeup pouch around then most likely you would see somewhere in your corners but for mine the exterior looks completely brand new I must say and even the interior is super super clean uh, considering I use this as a makeup pouch so I have my brushes and stuff inside here so it in it is in my opinion pretty clean there is just one little black dot at the bottom but i guess i can just yeah oh no i just rubbed it off so um there's actually no signs of use at all okay i guess the buckle here has um, i'm not sure if this was shiny to begin with but yeah it's kind of matte right now I'm not sure if you can see it uh but yeah i mean there's no major issue with this it honestly looks brand new but if you were to look at my insert, it is an absolute disaster. So like I mentioned, I actually put my brush in here. I'm not sure why I got this in green. Uh, I think my insert choices are all just very random, just based on whatever I feel looks nice or whatever I'm feeling in that moment. So yes, it is in this uh, green shade for some reason. So I have my Dior Lip Edit, uh, what do you call this, tint, I think. And I have my brush. So the brush is actually is what is causing all of this stain inside. Oh, this insert is by Samorga. So if you are intending on using this as a makeup pouch, then I would really recommend that you get an insert in a darker color because this is such a rookie mistake. And yeah, you should learn from my mistakes. So I have my concealer brush. This is from Tarte. Yep from Tarte which is super useful I've been using this for years and I really need to get that clean I really wish like concealer brushes came with like um, a little cover or a little cap so that it would just not dirty your entire makeup pouch then I have my concealer this is the Maybelline H Rewind I've been using this for many many years I've gone through so many tubes of this maybe more than 20 because it is just what works for me and then I have here my Hermes Lip Tint Slash Balm. It's, it's a purple color, but it doesn't come off as purple. I'm actually using it right now, so it's a very light um, pink with a tinge of purple. It is super pretty. I was super skeptical about this at first when I saw it. I was like, hmm, purple? Um, but yeah, my friend convinced me. She was like, oh, okay, let me show you because she had it. So she tried it on and yes, I was sold instantly. And it is really moisturizing, not drying at all, which is one of the things that I really look out for, which is why the Dior Lip Tint is another one of my favorites. I've gone through a couple of these as well because it does not dry out the lips, but it just gives it a little bit of color and I suffer from really, really dry lips. So that's one of like my main things that I can't stand or the main things that I would have to carry around with me a lot. Here I have another lip... Uh, product it's the lip maximizer collagen active from dior as well um then this one is the glossier blush or what do you call this cloud paint 
So I can use this as a blush or I can use this on my on my eyelids as like a little shadow. So it's pretty versatile and it's such a small tube which is perfect for me because you know I just hate carrying around very big things. So unless like I'm going out, uh, out, out for like dinner or whatever and if I'm not intending on just using eyeshadow. I don't really use eyeshadow that much nowadays anyways. So for me this is more than sufficient. Uh, oh and this is in the shade Blush Arian. Oh no, it's in the shade Dusk. Ta -da. So I love this a lot. It's super convenient and compact and I have my medicated oil for you know emergencies. Uh, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Uh, which I honestly don't really use much now because I got my brows filled in at the corners because I don't have much. My eyebrows at the end are like quite sparse. So if I feel like I just need a little bit more, then I would just have this. Then I have an eyebrow shaver here. It's a very compact one. I have a eyelash serum for... Because I got um I get uh, my lashes done, so I actually have to use a a serum, maybe like towards the end, like after every two weeks, so that uh just makes my lashes a little bit stronger. And then this is another lip product, is the Linolips One Hundred One Ointment, so I can use this on my cuticles or any dry areas. Uh, this is super super good as well. And then I have this eyebrow brush color thing from no brand i think this i just got this from like watson's or something and then i have another lip product this is the paula's choice lip body and treatment balm i just started using this so i'm not really sure how good is it yet it doesn't smell that great though i must admit it, it smells quite bad actually um so yeah i i don't really have like a proper review on this i can't really say if it's good or not because i just started uh, for hair tie, so as you can see, a lot of things I I managed to squeeze a lot of things into this small little pouch here. A pair of scissors, uh, a nail filer, eyebrow tweezer, hair clip, plasters for just in case, and a little what what do you call this? A uh, spoolie, spoolie brush for my eyelashes or brows. So if we take a look inside here, it is absolutely filthy. Uh, it's so disgusting to look at, so this is why I said that it is absolutely crucial if you're intending on using this as a makeup pouch, you should get one of these inserts and preferably get it in a darker colour because a light colour would just show how incredibly dirty your makeup pouch is. So yes, but it has definitely maintained the internal portion of my bag. Oh, you see, I still have this little tag thing that came in <laughs> the side compartment of the bag and another thing here, which I just never got around to taking out. I didn't even, didn't even know that was there oh, when I had a bunch of uh, safety pins as well. So, I can fit a lot, of the, a lot of things in this small little cosmetic pouch, which is perfect. So, if you are thinking of getting one for yourself, then this would be ideal if you don't have a lot of things to carry. But if you, oh, and I even have a um, sunblock stick in here. I had a sunblock stick in here, it just fell out. Um, so yeah, I just bring this for emergencies if I'm in the car for a long time under the sun, then it's just always good to have one of these. So yes, I hope you found this video useful and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, oh yes, the pricing. I actually got this, when I got this uh, about 3-4 years ago, I believe it was like 600 Singapore dollars and right now it's retailing for 780 So if you are considering on getting one for yourself, then you just better do it soon because you know the price increases every year and you don't want it to get to a point whereby it's too ridiculous for a cosmetic pouch. Um, for me, I just like the shape of this as compared to, I think that it's called the toiletry pouch, which was a more square version. Um, no particular reason why, but I just prefer the shape of this. Most of the time it just sits on my vanity table, which probably exp explains like the wear and tear, which is um, barely visible. Um, so yes. Yeah, anyway, I forgot why it just, just started going on and on again. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, till next time, bye!